Hi everyone, uh, welcome along to this week's cooking vlog. Uh, today we're going to make meatballs with roasted pepper and tomato sauce. Um, so let me show you what we need and then we can get cooking. So you're going to need some minced beef, some onions, peppers, I've got a bit of oregano there, some breadcrumbs, some pepper, a bit of beef stock, some garlic, tin tomatoes, going to need a couple of eggs, which I've run out of, and Sue's just nipped round to the shop for me, and some spaghetti. Okay, let's get cooking. Right, so the first thing we need to do is uh, put the peppers and the onion and your garlic in the oven to roast. So we'll just de-seed everything. Veg, I'm just cutting into big chunks because at the end, once they're roasted in the, the sauce, I'll uh, be going through a blender, a blitzer, or whatever you want to call it, to process it, it'll all be nice and smooth. That's it, there's the onion, the garlic. Right, so I've got it in the oven. Got my roasting tray already heated up in the oven. A bit of olive oil in the bottom. Just chuck everything in. And then just a bit more oil over the top of everything. A little bit of a shimmy. And then back in the oven. Whilst they are roasting, we will make the uh, the meatballs. Okay, to make the meatballs, you want your minced beef. I'm going to do mine in a couple of batches because that won't do us all. So I'll uh, mine will be done. I'll show you one lot, but I'll be doing mine lot in two. Right, good bit of pepper. Breadcrumbs. I'll put all the measurements in the uh, at the end of the video for you to see. Two eggs. And my onion. Just going to put half an onion in with this. So half an onion, just nicely finely chopped. Fine as you can get it, really. Okay. Half an onion going in. Some oregano. And that's everything in. Just get your hand in now. A bit of right good mix up. Okay, so that's that done. Dead easy enough, isn't it? Now for your meatballs. You can do them whatever your size you like. But I'm going to do them quite small. About that big. What's that size of? Don't know. About that big. OK, 
Okay. Just trying to squash them together as you roll them up, just so they don't fall apart when you uh, fry them in the pan. So just get the oil nice and hot. Get your meatballs in. It's easy just to shimmy them around a little bit. Put them on the back one actually. <clears throat> if you're doing a lot, you could actually do these in the oven, but I just don't think you get the same flavour as you do doing in a, in a pan like this. But, uh, you know, rather than you mess around for a little while doing them all in a pan, it, it would be a lot easier just to do them in the oven. But, right, so, while your meatballs are cooking away, we'll make the um, tomato sauce. Right, so whilst the uh, meatballs are cooking, we'll make the tomato sauce to go with, the, with them and the spaghetti. Chopping board. It's the roasted veg out of the oven. And I'm just going to chuck it all in this blender, whirly gig thing, whatever it is. In there I've got the, uh, the roasted veg. Uh, I will put in one tin of the tomatoes. Lid on. done and I now I'm just going to put some more tin I didn't put them all in at once because they probably it's too much for this little machine so another two tins of chopped tommies they don't that to the peppers and the other tin of tomatoes then that just goes on the uh, on your hob to heat through so that's the tomato sauce just warming through I'm just going to uh, chuck in a big stock and let that melt down and go through I've actually given up frying the meatballs the kids have been coming in saying, how long's tea going to be, how long's tea going to be? So I've, uh, I've caved in and I've put them in the oven, look. There they are, in the oven. They look quite good, actually. So, yep. Child peer pressure. I've caved in and they're in the oven. So, they won't be long at all now. Right, so the next job is spaghetti in to cook. By the time that is ready, the meatballs should be ready, and then I can feed the kids because they keep pestering me.
Right, so I think we're about ready to serve up. Turn the spaghetti off. Yep. Make bowls out of the oven. Okay, right, so we are ready to dish up. Some spaghetti. Just do one for the little one of the little kids. Some meatballs. Some of the sauce. And then just on the top. I haven't got any Parmesan cheese left, so we're going for just grated normal cheddar cheese. And that's it. All done. And I think that smells and looks absolutely lovely. So, there we have it. Hope you enjoy making this if you, if you give it a go. Uh, it's another, another tasty treat from us. So, happy days. Enjoy your cooking.